hi again so in this video i'm going to show you how to identify the super io chip failures easily you know that the super io as you can see here this is the ic that is responsible for the whole power in every computer motherboard so please pay attention because this video will be a very important video so here we have an article that I'm going to show you and we're gonna discuss but let me first show you the schematic or the circuit diagram of the Super I.O. So let's go here. So as you can see here, this is the Super I.O. or the keyboard controller. So the Super I.O. is connected with the keyboard, means it controls the keyboard, okay? It controls also the touchpad, it controls the FA, and it, console, it controls also the SPI or the BIOS, and also the CIR. Let's go back to our article. So, by the way, this is my website over here, as you can see, www.prospice20.com. Here in this website, of course, I will put the link of this article in the description box and if you want to go to this website you will find many many articles that speaks about how to diagnose and repair this motherboard and all about motherboard repairing so let's get started so just pay attention and follow me you will understand many many tips in this lesson so here we have a guide to identifying super io chip failure symptoms so basically this is the super io as you can see here this is its picture here we have the reference of super io as i told you before this is the main ic that controls all power in the computer motherboard so let's see first introduction so in this video i'm going to provide you with a comprehensive understanding of the symptoms that may may indicate a failing super io chip and guide you through the process of troubleshooting and resolving the issue so let's get started what is a super io chip the super io input output chip also known as a super io controller is an integral component of a computer motherboard it serves as intermediary between various hardware devices and the central processing unit cpu enabling communication and control over essential computer functions such as monitoring temperature sensors fan speed control power management and more exactly as we have seen in the schematic now let's see the common symptoms of super io chip failure a failing super io chip can result in several noticeable symptoms by being aware of these symptoms you can quickly identify whether your computer is experiencing super io related issues here are some common signals of super io chip failure so the first one unresponsive of inaccurate sensor reading one of the primary functions of the super io chip is to monitor temperature sensors if the chip is failing you may notice that the reading provided by software monitor tools are inaccurate inconsistent or unresponsive this can potentially lead to overheating issues if not addressed promptly so the second symptom malfunction fan speed control the super io chip is responsible for regulating fan speed based on temperature reading so as you can see ensuring optimal cooling for your computer when the chip fails you may experience issues with fan speed control such as fan running at a maximum speed constantly or not spinning at all this can result in poor thermal management and increased risk of hardware damage 
So the third symptom, USB and serial port problems. The Super IO chip handles the communication and control of USB and serial ports on the motherboard. If the chip malfunctions, you may encounter difficulties with these ports, such as the devices not being recognized, slow data transfer rates, or intermittent connectivity problems. These issues can significantly impact your productivity and device functionality. So let's go now to fourth symptom, power management issues. A failing super IO chip can also lead to problems with power management functions. You may experience irregularities with sleep mode hibernation or system shutdown. These issues can be frustrating as they disrupt your workflow and force you to power off your computer manually. The symptom number five, unreliable keyboard or mouse input. The Super IO chip facilitates facilitates the communication between the motherboard and input devices like keyboards and mice. If the chip is failing, you may notice input delays, irresponsive keys or buttons, or intermittent connectivity issues. With this peripherals, this can significantly impact your user experience and productivity. So now let's see how to troubleshoot troubleshooting super io chip failure so if you suspect that your super io chip is failing based on the symptoms mentioned above it's crucial to troubleshoot the issue to confirm the diagnosis and determine the appropriate course of action here are some steps you can take step number one update firmware and drivers Ensure that your computer's firmware, BIOS, and drivers are up to date. Manufacturers often release updates that address known issues, in, including Super IO related problems. Visit the manufacturer's website or utilize automatic driver update. Utilities to check for available updates. Second, check for loose connections. Inspect the connections between the Super IO chip and the motherboard. A loose connection can result in erratic behavior. Carefully reset the chip, ensuring it is firmly inserted into its socket. Exercise caution while handling delicate computer components. So, number three, monitor system temperature. Use reliable software monitoring tools to keep an eye on your system's temperature reading. If the Super IO chip is failing, you may notice unusually high temperature. Consult professional assistance if you encounter alarming readings or suspect additional hardware issues. So now let's go to conclusion. Identifying Super IO chip failure symptoms is crucial for maintaining the proper functionality of your computer by recognizing the signs and taking appropriate troubleshooting measures you can swiftly address any issues related to the super io chip remember to seek professional help if you are unsure or uncomfortable performing any hardware related tasks we hope this guide has been helpful in assisting you in understanding the symptoms and troubleshooting steps involved in super IO chip failure. Ensure the optimal performance of your computer by keeping an eye on its hardware components and promptly addressing any concerns to arise. So t this is all guys. I hope that you understand a little bit about, about super IO symptoms and how to, tr to troubleshoot it. So as I told you before here, the schematic shows to you exactly the component that is re, uh, connected to the super IO or to the keyboard control as you can see here so here as you can see we have here 
as you can see this is the processor and here we have the north bridge okay and then we have the south bridge and finally here we have the keyboard's controller or the super arrow as you can see so it is connected to the BIOS, to the fan. That's why we speak about fan speed to touchpad, etc. Okay, so I hope that you understand a little bit about this Super IO, one of the most important I see in every motherboard. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe, to share and to like the video because your likes are motivate me to create more and more videos for you and of course for anyone who wants to join me in the patreon page you are very welcome and of course for the second time this is my website as you see here this is the prospace20.com that you can find also in my channel so if you go to my channel so if you go to my channel here and directly to to about section so you will find of course my website this is my, my website as you can see prospace20.com where you can find many articles that speak about how to repair computer motherboards and of course i have here my patreon page feel free to 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 join me there i upload many schematics and useful information and more content and of course so thank you very much and see you in the next video